Hey, I'm Valerie with Millwright CNC. Uh, this is probably the first time you're seeing me, but hopefully it won't be the last. Um, today I'm going to be showing you our JTEC 64 watt 3-in-1 diode laser. Um, this can give you CO2-like power with a diode. It's got three modes, uh, 24 watt, 44 watt, and 64 watt. And today we're going to be cutting out um, a butterfly with our 64 watt mode on this laser. And before we start cutting, don't forget, safety first. This is my first cut, and you can see how it's got some holes in there where it cut through. And we had to take this, we had to cut this in six passes. This is my second cut, and we did this in one. Why? Because this one was set way too fast to cut, and it was also set at the 44 watt setting on the laser. So we went back and changed it to the 64 watt, and we got this much nicer cut. Now also you can see a difference in the grain of the wood. Now this is like an eighth inch plywood, so the, the wood is just not very good quality, you know, just in general. It's got lots of inconsistencies in it. And um, you can see where it's darker right here. But you, if you turn it around and you look at the back side of the plywood, you can see that the wood itself is already a darker shade on that part of the wood. So you have to think about little things like that when you're considering the material you're using. But there you go. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I put together that little project really quick in Lightburn, that butterfly that I cut out. Um, I found that image on the internet. I just did a good old Google image search for it. So you're going to go to File Import or Control I if you're on Windows. I believe it's Command I on a Mac. Um, there's my image, so I'll click on that. It'll put it on my pasteboard here, on my work area. And you'll see that there's a white background that we want to get rid of. So you're going to right click on your image and go to Trace Image. And you can see all the little lines that it's tracing of this graphic. And what I'm doing here is I'm zooming in with my mouse scroll wheel. If you roll it back and forth, it'll zoom in. Uh, that looks good, so we're going to hit OK. Hit Escape to get off of there. And as you can see, here is my original image and here is my trace of it. So we don't need her anymore, so we're just going to delete that. And I always like to start my zero down here in the bottom left. It's going to depend on your preferences and your material, etc., for where you want to start, but that's where I'm starting. Um, I did my butterfly about five inches wide, so I'm gonna go up here and change that here and resize, perfect. So that right here is our fill. That's what we're, that's what we're gonna engrave. Now we wanna cut out around it once we've engraved, so the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna come over here to the offset shapes tool and click on that and it's going to give you a little menu where you can choose your offset distance how far away from the outside of your um, graphic you want to cut and it'll show you as you move that up and down that looks about like I had it I have it on outer shapes only 
because I didn't want it to be cutting inside here in the little cuts of our markings of our butterfly. I wanted a rounded corner style. That all looks good, so I'm going to hit OK. Now it's got everything on the same layer here. You see it's all in that purple color. I want this outline to be on a separate layer because we're going to cut that. So let's do yellow. And I'm going to come up here and change that to line and make sure that output is selected. So that fill is what we're going to actually engrave that's in that purple. And that yellow mustardy color is what the cut is going to be. And what I did for that second cut was I went over here and changed my speed to 400 inches a minute at 60% power. That looks right. And for the cut, we're going to put that at 34 or 35 inches a minute at 100% power. Because with it going that slow of a speed, it's going to focus that laser for a longer period of time and it's going to make a deeper cut. And you'll only have to make one pass with that 1 8 inch um, plywood that we used. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a comment below about anything you might want to see from us in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.